time to rewind the clock and explore the epic world of retro gaming. Join the fun as we unravel fascinating facts from legendary characters to the consoles that started it all. So buckle up, press start, and let the nostalgia trip begin. The iconic character Mario wasn't always the heroic plumber we know today. In his first appearance in the 1981 arcade game Donkey Kong, he was actually called Jumpman and worked as a carpenter. He didn't become the famous Mario we know until his later appearance in Super Mario Bros. in 1985. Since then, Mario has donned many hats quite literally, taking on roles such as doctor, athlete, race car driver, referee, and even construction worker in various games throughout his illustrious career. It just goes to show there's no limit to Mario's versatility in the gaming world. The Magnavox Odyssey, released in 1972, holds the prestigious title of being the first video game console designed specifically for home use. With its launch, gaming entered the living rooms of families around the world. The console introduced players to a new realm of entertainment, offering simple yet captivating games like table tennis and handball. What's more, the Magnavox Odyssey came with overlays that could be placed on the TV screen, enhancing the visual experience and immersing players in the action like never before. It was a pioneering step that laid the foundation for the vibrant gaming industry we know today. The concept of cheat codes, allowing players to input specific button sequences for in-game advantages, traces its roots back to the early days of arcade gaming. Originally, developers implemented these codes as shortcuts for testers to bypass challenging levels during game testing. This ingenious solution not only facilitated testing but also inadvertently birthed a gaming phenomenon that continues to captivate players to this day. From unlocking hidden features to gaining extra lives, cheat codes have become an integral part of gaming culture, adding an extra layer of excitement and exploration to the gaming experience. The legendary Konami code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start first emerged in the 1986 game Gradius as a means to access additional power-ups. This clever combination of inputs quickly gained popularity and became synonymous with gaming excellence. Its versatility and effectiveness led to its adoption in numerous other Konami games, cementing its status as a timeless cheat code. Over the years, the Konami code has transcended its origins, evolving into a cultural icon within the gaming community and beyond. Whether unlocking secrets or paying homage to gaming nostalgia, the Konami code continues to hold a special place in the hearts of gamers worldwide. Speaking of the Konami code, did you know that the popular cheat code for unlocking extra lives in the original Contra game was actually a last minute addition by the developers to appease frustrated playtesters? originally implemented as a way to ease the game's intense difficulty. Did you know that the B button on the Nintendo controller was originally intended to serve as a cancel button? However, during playtesting, gamers found it more intuitive to use for secondary actions instead. This unexpected adaptation by players not only defied the developer's initial design, but also solidified the B button's place in gaming history. From jumping and shooting to casting spells and swinging swords, the versatile B button has become an indispensable tool for gamers worldwide, showcasing the power of player feedback in shaping gaming experiences. What was once dismissed as an urban legend turned out to be a startling truth. In 2014, a documentary crew unearthed a landfill in New Mexico and discovered a treasure trove of Atari game cartridges including the infamous E.T. This discovery confirmed the long-standing rumors and even captured national attention, shedding light on one of the gaming industry's most fascinating mysteries. With so many YouTubers in the past year using ChatGPT to come up with video ideas, I thought I would go one step further. I found a website that would be able to clone my voice, then I'd use text-to-speech to make a video. And this is my real voice. It's not uh, computer generated or anything. That's why there's a little bit of inflection, emotion, and other things in it. And I figured I'd make something interesting out of it. Then what I did was I 
gathered up a couple of interesting facts that I'd uncovered. Then I ran them through ChatGPT to basically make them sound more interesting and less boring. And I put it together in a video. What do you guys think? Was it stupid? Should I do it again? Never do it again? It's up to you. Leave a comment down below.